probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 30, 30 cars about the time when the city took it over. And it added uh, eight, at least 18 more. And it had, the total run was about 28 miles uh, within the city. And it had a few additional miles outside the city. The genesis of the system was in 1887. Moses Sherman, who like so many other of us, came from outside the city of Phoenix, uh, came to Phoenix and began to run the trolley, establish the trolley, primarily to sell his properties. He was a developer and he had these various areas. He wanted to bring people out to see his properties. He started in 1887 with running a trolley along Washington uh, Street. He ran from uh, 7th Street to 7th Avenue in the city because that was the east-west boundaries at the time. The first trolleys 1887 were mule-drawn cars, uh, narrow gauge. So interesting stories about the mules uh, pulling the cars off the track and going off in their own, their own way. Uh, one sad story where a driver, he, he was, came to be called El Sardo, which means the one who can't hear because he got kicked by his mule and fell into the, hit his head on the car, so he lost his hearing. So the mules, the mules were a problem. Uh, electricity began to come into the city, and in 1893, they began to convert to electric cars. Sherman's idea was not to establish a permanent public service. His idea was to bring people to his development areas, which were called additions at that time, and sell property. So the installation was a very simple matter of grading, grading the street, laying down uh, pine ties, which were untreated, so they rotted pretty quickly, um, and putting the rails on top of pine ties. That was the installation. I once joked with some of the workmen on the light rail, I told them how the original trolley system was built. And I said, how come you guys make it so difficult? <laughs> they didn't appreciate it too much. A decision was made in the 30s to discontinue the trolley system. And uh, so they began to cut back on some of the lines so that in 1948, basically the only trolleys ran along Washington Street, which is about what they originally started with. This is trolley 116. It was purchased by the city of Phoenix uh, in 1925, um, in December of 1925, as a matter of fact. And uh, it's a double-ended uh, car, which means that the motorman, when he reaches the end of, his, of the line, would take the fare box and the controller car uh, handle, move and change up by pulling the trolley down off the off the, off the uh, wire, move to the other end of the car and uh, uh, put the trolley pull up against the wire and, and go back. It has capacity for 40 passengers, uh, 20 seats. Seats are reversible. Um, that means that as he went from one end of the car to the other, the motorman would switch the backs of the chairs so that the riders were always facing forward. This is called the controller. And the controller is the speed control and the forward and reverse control, the motorman would run through what they called points as they go faster or slower. And uh, in one case, a uh, motorman was busy helping someone off the car and a child came forward and pushed the controller. The car started off and the motorman had to chase after it to pull down the, uh, the pole in order to break the contact and stop the car. On the original cars, the conductor would collect the fares by hand. And uh, there were five cents 
uh, all the way throughout the entire history of the car, basically. And the uh, motorman would collect the fares, or the conductor rather, and keep a tab in his book. Um, that led to some to the practice of what they called knocking down, whereby they would not report all of the fares. That would get them into trouble. But also, if they had perfect account, the company would be a little bit suspicious of them, and they would also have to answer for why their accounts were so perfect. There was this uh, drastic fire in 1948 that destroyed the car barn and all of the rolling stock except six cars that were out on their runs at the time. And this, this was one of them. Um, it was sold to a trolley trailer court and made into an apartment for, uh, for the trailer court. And that's where it sat until 1974 when Larry Fleming and his partners um, obtained the trolleys and started their restoration and then brought them here and set up a museum. I think history, not only about the trolleys, but all of history I think is very important to, to understanding our past, uh, gives us a better understanding of our present. Um, uh, so I think, I think it fits into the whole general need for history, for museums, and uh, so on. And I'm glad to be a part of it. <laughs>